Hi all, welcome to the NetMinion Solutions where your outcome always matters. Today I will talk with you okay, regarding a function or a library. This package name is network x okay, and we need to import it first of at our device to make any kind of graphs using python. So let me just open the sublime text okay and we can build this uh, graph together okay side by side and I will tell you also how to make each and everything. So first of all let me save my this script with some kind of name maybe over the desktop I can I can save it okay and I can save with some name maybe today is 6th May I can just keep 6 may dot py extension okay so you can see that the name is changed now and currently the name is 6th may dot py okay so we what we will do we will create a graph and I will tell you how to make a graph using Python and in Python what we will do we will import some functions okay and these modules I will let you know one by one when we required it and how to draw it so first of all you need to import okay network X and in documentation you can check okay it should be import so in documentation you can check that always network X is uh, imported as NX but it is not a uh, uh, like it, it, it's not like that that you need to import it as NX only you can give any of the name okay so first thing first we need to import the network X module now we wanted to create a graph maybe uh, with G I am just giving an X you can say it is an alias okay of the network X so I need not to write down the network X again and again I will use an X here I will use an another function graph and I will create a uh, empty graph okay for uh, and assigning this value in the variable named as small g so I hope you guys are aware how the variables works okay so left hand side of the equal to mark is the variable right hand side is the value and whatever the value is there okay that value is stored into g now this is an empty graph so far if I wanted to print out this graph I can just print out okay and I need to use some kind of uh, function to to draw it so I can use that like nx dot draw and what I want to draw I want to draw G okay and then I want to plot it right I want to plot it because it should be show to me so for this I will import an another function that is import okay this is an another module this package is to visualize the graph like the graph will be visualized to us okay and we will use uh, this this function name is uh, meta mat sorry uh, it is mat then plot then lib and into this there is a library by plot and I am importing it as plt what I am using over here plt dot show now this is my simple four or five line of code okay and if I will run the control B to execute this script you can see that this script is being as executed and it is saying that G is not defined because it is case sensitive language and I have used the small G over there but howsoever here it was the bigger G now you can see that a graph uh, and another picture is there okay and this picture you can see over here this picture this figure is generated by the python again okay and this uh, picture doesn't have anything yet so you can see that this picture is of the python you can save this picture you can zoom out this picture you can do multiple of the things over here now to draw something uh, first of all I need to tell you like if you are drawing something we need to have uh, two things one is node okay and the second second thing is edge 
node means like if I have a router and I have a router 2 and if I have a router 3 these are three nodes and whatever the relation between them maybe R1 has the uh, connection with R2 and R3 and R2 has the connection with only um, maybe with R1 and R3 has the connection with both R2 and R3 now if you check over here the, the black line the pink line are the edges okay whereas the router 1 router 2 and router 3 are known as nodes so there are something known as vertices like node okay and the relation between them is known as edges so let me wipe it out and let me show you how to add some kind of nodes now to add some kind of node there is another uh, some function available to us like g dot add and if I uh, add us if I need to add a single node I can just maybe add like that okay so let me uh, press control B again and you can see currently I have one node into the graph okay now let me add some more maybe likewise let me copy it control C and uh, to the end let me uh, just take some more maybe like that and three now let me press control B again and you can see that currently over the graph I have three dots over there so all of those three nodes are there but how to check how many nodes I am having into my script there is some one more function which I can use over here which will show me what is the vertices or what is the edges I will have total in the count so we can uh, we can just use uh, what kind of info we have maybe I can use the print function print annex dot info and the info of the G like that now if I will press control B again you can see the graph is also coming but uh, with graph I have now couple of other information also like the print function which I am using into the line number 11 is now showing me something that it is a type of the graph where the number of the nodes are 3 and the relation between them are 0 and this is uh, more deeper when you will go to the uh, network X you will uh, let like you will come to know that what is degree and whatever all the stuff is so currently there is no relation between these two or these three nodes so there is no relation in between them okay so this is uh, your small basic like how to add the nodes now if we wanted to add the edges we can add the edges also to add edges like we just need to uh, use another function named it add and then edge now you wanted to edge add between what between maybe uh, this time R1 okay and maybe switch one now when you are doing like that it means you are showing the relation between such two nodes uh, out of which one doesn't exist what does it mean it mean when adding the edges between two such nodes which are uh, not into our node list currently the edge function will add the nodes or it will update the node list as well so let me save it let me okay control s let me save it and let me press control b again this time you will uh, you will see that we have four nodes total okay into the print statement also it is shown to you that we have four nodes and there is one edge so you can see over here also there are two three and four total four nodes are there and there is one edge between these two okay but here uh, into the graph I cannot see like what is uh, which node uh, node doesn't have the labels you can say okay so to add the labels what I can give I can just use a smaller kind of stuff over here so with uh, labels equal to true so I will use like that now if I will press control B again 
my graph will be appear again and you can see that uh, this time I have all of the stuff uh, which is more you know uh, um, like ma making more sense over here so I told there is a relation between R1 and switch 1 and there is a relation between R1 and switch 1 okay but R2 and R3 are the nodes are there but there is no relation in between them so we can say this time we have more uh, clear picture to us okay now let me show you more okay regarding this information and maybe this time uh, I will not add the nodes by my own I am just removing these kind of all the stuff I will use some kind of another uh, maybe function and I will show you like how to you know uh, create the nodes so I am just uh, giving maybe this time uh, I will remove this line also now into the G what I can do I can just use some kind of another function path okay and it should be nx dot path and then graph and then 10 so what does this function do this function will automatically create 10 nodes okay and these nodes would be starting from 0 till 9 and it will add uh, the relation between them like 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 and likewise 8 to 9 so there would be the relation between all and a graph should be appear like that okay because there is a continuous relation in between them and it is created like the graph so without any delay let me save it and let me uh, uh, press control B and you can see that uh, we have a graph now uh, as I told you earlier so this time we have a graph which is having the relation between 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 and likewise okay till 9 also over here you can see that we have total nodes of uh, 10 okay starting from the 0 till the number 9 and we have the total edges 9 now this is the one function uh, likewise we have many inbuilt function of the network X okay let me use some another okay so this time I will use G equal to mm, it was complete uh, NX dot complete okay and graph and maybe so what does complete graph will do complete graph will again uh, like we did for path graph it will add the nodes 10 nodes starting from 0 till 9 but this time whatever the uh, like possibility is there for uh, edges between 0 to 9 each nodes it it will add all of the possibility so total edges would be uh, if you check the combination and permutation it would be 45 so this time if I am saving it and if I am pressing control B okay here you go so there there is a complete graph okay and this time you can see the graph starting from node 0 to the 10 sorry to the 9 okay and every node has the connectivity with each other so 0 is connected with 2 also 3 also 4 also and likewise okay every node is connected with everyone so it is a complete graph now there is one more graph okay which we can use and that graph name is as random graph okay so let me use that so uh, instead of using the complete information this time it will like pick the randomly any of the uh, value okay maybe uh, it it will take randomly whatever it it requires so random and uh, graph and maybe uh, this time 20 and maybe 0 0.5 I will use let me check again and you can see that there there, uh, there is now the 19 zero, from 0 to 19 there are nodes added and it is it is added the randomly edges so if you see there is no relation between 6 and 14 
likewise uh, there is no relation between 8 and 7 so it is it is adding something the values randomly okay okay so now how we can use such kind of stuff for our network okay so i have already made a network diagram using these kind of modules okay but again if you if if you wanted to have some kind of maybe view i can show you something over here okay and uh, maybe you can come to know like how to create a network diagram using such kind of stuff so uh, this time i will not create uh, the whole script in one go i will create the uh, self you know user defined functions and here i will i will use some of the functions now i am creating a uh, empty graph again using like that graph and then mm, i am making an empty node list okay so this is a list which is not defined yet maybe here let me define the list first okay creating uh, creating nodes list and here maybe we can we can pass out some kind of number or something okay and instead of giving one two three like i can use for value in and then number or instead of number i can use num for value in num i can use a variable maybe any variable named as var one equal to here i can specify that we have some kind of you know uh, routers over here and here i can just keep it as string and string should have the value into it okay and then what i can do i can update that node list so i am just updating this append and what is my where one okay perfect so let me quickly check if my this of this is my function is working or no so maybe let me take a variable as node list also that will that will append don't worry okay so here i can show creating node list and i'm creating a node list of the range till 10 okay uh, for value in I need to use range command also because I need to create it from 0 to 9 now let me check it and into the line number 14 let me print this value print node list okay so there is some issue it is showing that module object is not callable okay I am not calling it so let me do like that and try again none so it is showing that okay because of indentation let me check now no 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 let me return the node list over here so let me return this node list from here okay perfect so there was some kind of indentation issue okay which is now resolved when i am doing uh, i am running the for loop where into this i am calling at the range function which is starting from 0 to 9 whatever value i will give over here maybe this value i can import from the user also okay whatever the value you wanted to import from the user and i am printing that kind of whole list so why i am calling why i am creating this list because this list using this list i can creating the nodes so every value from this list can we go into can we go into the nodes individually so how to create that maybe let me define some another function over here okay maybe here i can define one more function define okay maybe add nodes okay 
and here I can parse out some kind of list one or like that okay and here what I can do I can just give some kind of values like g dot add and nodes and from so this is the function which will take all the nodes from the list whatever you are providing so I am parsing out list one over here okay so it will add all the nodes from this list now I need to call this function add nodes and here I can parse out this list what whichever I have used before now to check again what is the information of my function or what is the information of my uh, G okay I can uh, of my graph I can use this kind of info and into the G so let me uncomment it again and this time let me uh, do it nx dot draw uh, draw and then g and then I need to draw it with labels equal to 1 ok and then plt dot show ok so currently it should show me that there are 10 nodes but there should not be any relation between these 10 ok let me save it let me press control B and let me check if there is some kind of error ok so this is showing me there is something error module object is not callable ok so let us check about this error what this error means and how it can be resolved so it is showing g dot net ok the graph is the small function let me use the capital over here and here you can see that uh, we are having now 10 uh, routers ok from r1 to r9 sorry from from r0 to r, r9 and there are uh, no edges currently ok so let me create one more uh, let me define one more function over here which will create a random maybe you can say uh, to create a random edges in between it in between them ok so let me do that quickly now I am doing define uh, maybe we can say add nodes randomly ok and into this function I can use maybe a while while loop so I am using a while loop where I am just saying g number of edges what I wanted to create that should not be exceed to 20 because with 10 there are total 45 possibilities I don't want to use all of the 45 possibilities I am just using 20 possibilities here I am assigning a variable maybe r1 here uh, I will use random function so I need to import import random ok so random is again uh, I am importing over here and into router 1 I can say random dot choice and this choice should be used from the list which is g dot nodes ok and then I am just I am just uh, choosing randomly ok any of the node into r1 similarly I, I will choose one more node ok randomly random dot choice and here again I will choose it from the list g dot nodes like that control s and now I wanted to create the edges between them two so for creating the edges between them two uh, there should be the condition that if r1 should not be equal to r2 so if they are not equal and maybe we can also add some more comment over here that if uh, g should not have you know the edge already so I will say g edge between r1 and r2 should not be should not be there so it should be equal to 0 only 
if these are the condition which are met we can say that it should create an edge between r1 and r2 okay now the only thing uh, which is left over here is we need to uh, we need to call this function so to call this function i will just uh, just copy it and paste it over here and just call it okay now let me control s and let me press control b and uh, here if everything is fine we can see okay r1 and it should be r2 so let me do again control b and here you can see because we have limited our edges to 20 value so you can see the edges uh, value is 20 okay nodes we have again manually provided the value of 10 it is showing me 10 and randomly it is picking like r8 r8 is not connected to r2 or r3 or maybe r1 and randomly it is making some kind of you know graph in between them so you need to do homework okay from the cdp neighbor you can find out the information which device is connected to what device and after that you can create a whole uh, script okay which will create a totally graph for you if you guys like this script and if you learn something from it just do like do subscribe and press the bell icon thank you put the comments it will motivate us thanks again have a good day bye